Helping out your neighbor means more than just your fellow human beings. It extends to all the creatures, big and small, we share planet Earth with. Because sometimes Mother Nature needs a helping hand from us to get by every now and then. And when called on, it's good to know there are so many kind people, like the ones featured in today's video, willing to lend a hand when our animal cousins need some help. All right, let's begin. Someone check the blood alcohol level on this camel. I think he's been hitting the sauce. How else do you explain how this goofball managed to roll over on its head only to become stuck while doing it? If you didn't think it was possible for a camel to do something this stupid, think again. How this sheep got itself stuck in there, we'll never know. But now that it's out, it can go on to produce about 10 pounds of wool a year, and at today's price of roughly $1.53 a pound US, do the math yourself, become a shepherd, and get filthy rich. <laughs> you, got, you got jelly legs. <laughs> Just chill for a sec. Just chill for a sec. Just chill for a sec. What have you been doing in there? Cows don't have a reputation for being the smartest animal in the pasture, as demonstrated by this bumbling bovine getting yeah. herself stuck in an irrigation ditch. It amounts to nothing more than a major hassle for the farmer to get the tractor out and pull it to safety, but how much do you want to bet that she gets herself stuck in there again at some point? Yeah, you're welcome. Ever see a fisherman go elbow deep in the mouth of a rough tail stingray to remove a hook? You're about to. Imagine how that feels not only for the fisherman to have to explore the inside of the ray, Sorry. but for the stingray itself Sorry. to have someone shove an arm down its gullet. Not my idea of a fun Friday night. And that's how it's done, folks. We are going to release her right now. I can identify with this next clip because I had to do this exact same thing to rescue my dog that fell through the ice. I can testify that it's not fun at all. The water is freezing cold and you'll never look at your idiot dog the same way again. Any farmer worth their salt will go to any lengths to protect their animals. That means that if they get trapped under an ungodly amount of snow after a blizzard, farmers will put on their work boots to dig them out because that's what the job calls for. Oh, hang on. Cattle are actually good swimmers, but when floods hit, they can't swim forever and will drown if they can't find dry land. Lucky for this one that some kind humans in a boat happened by and pulled it to safety. The look on its face after being towed to shore is not just a look of exhaustion, but a heartfelt expression of gratitude for having saved its life. Lucky for this little zebra that it was some helpful humans that found him stuck between these trees. If it had been a lion, the lion would have been like, wait, 
This is too easy. No zebra makes it this easy to become lunch. This has to be a trap. There's no way this unfortunate dog is going to get itself out from under this massive piece of concrete without the help of some elbow grease courtesy of some kind animal lovers. What would you do if you were faced with this situation? You'd do the same. Grab a shovel and start digging. What I find most impressive about this hero wading out into the mud to rescue a stuck goose is not that he risked himself to save one of God's creatures, it's that he kept his mask on the whole time. Fishermen have an enormous amount of respect for the sea and the creatures that call it home. Makes sense, they all make their living by taking advantage of the bounty the sea provides. This kind soul makes it a habit to take time out of the busy workday to scrape barnacles from sea turtles so they can make their way a bit easier than before they cross paths with a kindred spirit like our friend here. This fisherman caught more than he expected when, instead of his cast landing in the water as intended, it managed to catch an unlucky passing bird in the wrong place at the wrong time. But being the responsible sporting enthusiast he is, our fisherman friend here spared no effort to reel in his most unusual catch, cut and remove the line, much to the bird's protestations, and set the rather loud bird free once again. Talk about the one that got away, right? He got that crank in his foot. Now, chill out, buddy. I'm going to get you undone. Oh, this is crazy. Chill out, buddy. God. This is nuts. There we go. Let's get the line out of his feathers. All right. Crazy catch. Craziest, craziest catch of the day, but we got the crank out of him. We'll let him go. All right. Holy smokes. That was nuts. There's the crank. There's the bird. He's fine. He's going to be all right. Well, we just caught a bird, dudes. All right. There he goes. After finding a bat stuck on a barbed wire fence, this good Samaritan took it upon themselves to rescue the poor thing and nurse it back to health. And now that we get a close-up look at the creature, it's actually kind of cute. But before you try this yourself, be aware that bats are the number one cause of rabies death in the United States, and you should avoid contact at all costs unless you're a trained professional. Whales are some of the most magnificent creatures in the ocean. But even whales can make a mistake and find themselves in the wrong place when the tide goes out and get themselves stuck. If no one comes to help, it's game over. But in this case, a bucket brigade of locals found this poor beached whale and went to work dumping buckets of water on the whale for hours to keep it alive until the tide came back and it could make its way safely back to sea.
that about wraps it up for today's presentation. Thanks for watching, and if you feel even a little bit inspired by what you saw, please hit the like button. We'd sure appreciate it. And be sure to subscribe to our channel. We've got more cool stuff like this coming up real soon. See you next time.